Okay, there we go. All right, so here we go. So first of all, we're not going to flip over to the page that we need to yet. We're just going to go over a couple of things. All right, so first of all, if you want to be able to see my screen a little better, all you're going to do is hover your mouse over my hand, and you can pin me right now. So you, if you pin me, you'll be able to see a lot more. Okay, so make sure you guys do that first. Okay, if you haven't done so yet, do it now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my settings so I can be able to see everyone. Change my layout to maximum amount of people I can see. So now I can see everyone. Great. All right, so here I'm going to get started right away. So this is the art workbook. And again, you haven't done so yet. You will be um, writing your name right here. Okay. And then if I flip it over to the front page, you'll see what we did last week. So we went over the elements of art, which was line, shape and form, color, texture, space, and value. And we basically went all uh, over them all right here. Basically what this packet does, it goes over every single element of art in detail. So if we flip over the page, we talked about, um, I think it was value, I think. We talked about value, I think. Yep, we did. And we talked about different ways to shade. So the different ways to shade that we talked about was shading normally with pencil, uh, going from light to dark or dark to light. We talked about shading with hatching, basically the art of shading with just lines. And there's an example below. We talked about shading with cross hatching. So there was another example right here, the cylinder. And then last but not least, we talked about shading with stippling, basically shading with just dots. So there's three examples of that right here. The reason why they have three is so that it can show you guys how it works. And if you wanted to, you could practice shading down below right there. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna flip the paper over and it should look something like this, the color wheel. I am covering it right now because I did it with the last class already. So it should look like this where it says the color wheel, but it should have a blank uh, circle right here with a couple lines. If you don't have the worksheets, you can have a blank sheet of paper like how I have over here. And I'm gonna divide it up evenly. So what I'm gonna do is if you don't have this packet, I'll show you guys how to do it. All you gotta do is draw a line across. Again, this is only if you don't have the packet. And then once you draw a line across, you're gonna make a big X, just like that. And by doing so, you should have six spots, okay? I'm gonna hold it like this, so it looks like your worksheet. There you go, hold it like that, so it looks like your worksheet. All right, so this is gonna be a review of your knowledge of the primary and secondary colors by coloring the color wheel. So. I don't need to get a volunteer for this part because I'm pretty sure you guys all know the primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. Make sure you guys get those colors out. Doesn't matter if it's marker, crayon, or color pencil. Okay. Next up, you're going to pick the red. Let's start with this red first. I want you guys to fill one of the triangles in with a red. I'm going to pick this top one right here that kind of veers to the left a little bit. I don't color that all red, okay? Again, the only reason why I'm covering the worksheet is because I did it already with the last class. I don't want to spoil it for you guys, okay? Once you color that in, I don't need the red anymore. Put it down. Next primary color I'm gonna pick is yellow. Here's the problem I'll see a lot of kids doing. What they do is that they color right beside the red and that's incorrect. The reason why that's incorrect is because there's going to be secondary colors going in between all those. So the best place to put the yellow is skipping a triangle and putting it next to, or skipping the triangle and then putting it in the next one. Kind of like that. So I went to the right, just like that. All right. And again, if you don't have a packet and you don't have a piece of blank sheet of paper, all you got to do is watch. If you do have the packet, then please do it on the packet. And if you don't have the packet, but you have a blank sheet of paper, then do it on blank sheet of paper like how I have right here. Last but not least, we're going to go with our last primary color, which is blue. And again, we don't want it to be next to the red and we don't want it to be next to the yellow. The only spot we can go on is this blank triangle right here. Great, so now, the primary colors are done. Great. 
Now, this is where your knowledge comes into play. If you don't, if you need more time, I see a lot of kids calling right now. So if you need more time, I'll wait a couple more seconds. I see some people are done already. I see Isabel done. I see Ivy's almost done. All right, so if you guys are just waiting, the next colors you need are the secondary colors. The secondary colors you guys did not know are orange, oh, sorry, green, and purple, also known as violet. So you need these three colors next. However, they will be need to be placed in the correct spots. This is where it comes a little more important. So here I go. Between red and yellow goes a certain secondary color. Does anyone know what secondary color goes between red and yellow? Anyone know? I see Noel. What color goes there? Orange. Good job. So right here goes orange. You can't put orange anywhere else. It does not work that way. So this is the only place where you can put orange. All right, the next one is blue plus yellow. If you mix those two colors together, what goes here? Anyone know? I'm gonna pick Adriana. I saw your hand up first. Green. Good job. And again, green can't go anywhere else. It has to go here. And then if you finish it, it should look something like this. I'm gonna remove this so you guys can see my worksheet. There we go. All right, so this is the completed color wheel for your worksheet. However, this is an actual color wheel with the proper amount of colors. So this has 12 colors. So this has 12 colors in this color wheel. The one that we just did has six only. The reason why it only has six only is because it has the primary colors, which is three, and it also has the secondary colors, which is also three. The reason why this one right here, the one I'm holding, the reason why this one has 12 is because there's something called tertiary colors. Tertiary colors, there's about six of them, and they're basically colors that are in between these primary and secondary colors as well. Now, what I'm gonna do really quick is because I have them ready already, is I'm just gonna do it super fast. You don't have to do this part. I repeat, you don't have to do this part. It's because it's actually really fast for me to do. So between red and orange, it's a color called red orange. So I'm gonna put it right here. Looks very similar. Um, between orange and yellow, it's called yellow orange. Looks like that. A color between yellow and green is called yellow green. And again, you don't have to do this. Between green and blue is a color called blue green. Looks like that. Looks like a cool color. Between purple and blue equals blue violet. Looks kind of like this. Looks like a darker purple. And between red and purple is red violet. Looks like that. So that's the reason why your only has six sides, but the actual color wheel has 12, okay? And again, you don't have to do what I just did because not that many people have the tertiary colors. That's why the actual color wheel has more, okay? All right, uh, if you don't finish that part, it's okay, you can finish it later. I just wanna talk about the next element of art, which is space. I only have three minutes, so I apologize. I only have three minutes left. Space is the visual and physical space Within an artwork, artists create space in a variety of ways. So space can include when people draw big, when people fill the whole entire paper, when people draw and the lines go off the paper, the placement in the relation to the horizon line, smaller in distance, larger close up, darker close up, lighter further away, overlapping, that one's probably gonna be the easiest one, is overlapping. And then down below, it discusses foreground, middle ground, and background when it comes to a scene. So if you have time, either today or some other time, you can use this blank space right here on the opposite side of this page, we're on the reverse side of the color wheel. You can draw your example of space. So if you wanna do something that's overlapping, something that has lines going off the paper, 
something drawn big or a scene, you may draw it on the opposite side if you have time today. Now, I did promise you guys some time at the end of class um, if you have some artwork to share. So with that said, uh, just make sure you have something to share. If you don't want to share, that's fine. Um, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to flip my camera around so you guys can see me. And then I'm going to pick out only a few volunteers. And then we're going to end the class in a little bit. Okay. So does anyone want to share what they've done so far, either in regards to um, what we've done so far today, or does anyone want to show me what they did over this week? Gio, you want to share? I made a Pikachu car. Oh, that's awesome. Pichu, Pichu, uh, Pikachu card. Nice. Anyone else want to share what they did? Uh, Alyssa, go ahead. Ellie, go I ahead. just wanted to share something I had this weekend. Sure, go ahead. I was sick the whole weekend. Oh, that's okay. Uh, Noelle, you want to share? I drew water animals. So like a seal and all of those kind of animals. I'd love to see. Oh, good job. All right, with that said, um, we only have about a minute left. So if you are one of those people that like to share still, um, keep your microphones off and you can start holding your artwork to uh, your camera so everyone can see. So just keep your microphones off and you can just hold your artwork to anything you want to show to the class and we'll be able to see. So I'm, I'm seeing Noelle's holding some artwork. She's flipping through the pages, nice. Anyone else uh, want to share? Uh, what's what's do is Heal, what's up? Can I bring my artwork? Yeah, you only have about a couple seconds left though. <laughs> then I gotta get going. All right, is that, is that it? No one else wanted to share? All you gotta do is hold it up to the screen. You don't have to unmute yourself at all. Adrian, nice job. I see uh, I see it, nice. The, the city landscape, awesome. All right, great job, guys. If you wanna log off, you may. Time now is 11.30. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye, Mr. Master. Bye. 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 Bye, everyone.